Father, I just want to thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for uh, showing your greatness uh, as we meet under this beautiful oak tree. Just uh, ask the folks that deal with allergies to uh, get through these next couple hours okay. We just want to thank you so much for uh, the kindness revolution and to remind us that it's all about love, Father. You tell us the greatest commandment, love God and love others, and that's what we're here to do today. We ask these things in your son's name. Amen. <laughs> Remember, when we do this, it's in remembrance of him, of what he did, of who he is. Let's take the bread. He broke. He gave his body to be broken for us. He died so we can live. Take the sacred bread, please. Take his body in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In the same way, the scriptures say that he blessed, he blessed the wine also. And he passed it around and he and he told him this is my this represents my blood the blood that he it was he was going to shed that blood he didn't even <laughs> he didn't do it yet and he knew it was going to happen to take this again to remember what he did take the juice please in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah you know this is um before before i i, I shut my mouth I, I just I just want to pray, Father. Thank you, Lord. Just thank you, Lord Jesus, for um, for giving us revelation, for giving us community, to allow us to come together in any setting to uh, to recognize who you are, Lord, and what you've done for us. And um, this is so detrimental to our to our faith and to our salvation. To just to follow you. Um, we thank you, Lord, for this venue, for this ministry. We thank you for Church of Hope, for the for the young for the young uh, people in Church of Hope, and the leaders that are, came today to help in this thing. Um, we love you, Father. Bless your people. In Jesus' name, Amen. Isaiah 25, 6, 6 and 8 says, But here on this mountain, God, the God of angel armies will throw a feast for all the people of the world, a feast of the finest foods, a feast with vintage wine, a feast of seven courses, a feast lavished with gourmet, gourmet desert desserts. And here on this mountain, God will banish the... I don't know what that word says. It says, Paul of doom hanging over all peoples. The shadow of doom darkening all nations. Yes, he'll banish death forever. And God will wipe the tears from every face. He'll remove every sign of disgrace from his people, wherever they are. Yes. I'd like to talk a little bit about prayer and I mean it's kind of hard to follow Benny after um, uh, that great thing about communion thanks man um, so God wants you to God wants us to pray two of the biggest things that a Christian can do to grow as a believer and as a follower of God is to pray and read their Bible and prayer is a huge part of that so we have to know how to pray and thankfully God left us a very nice little instruction manual about how to do that with his Lord's Prayer and, O oh Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we have also forgiven our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And so, really, that prayer has three different parts, really. Um, um, to begin with, you praise God, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. You say that you are ready to serve God that you trust him and that he is the greatest God alive. He is your God. And so 
that's what God wants. We were here, put here on this earth to worship and love God and our, and other people. And so, if you can't love God without, you can't love God without praying. I mean, God knows what's on your heart, but how can you love someone without them actually hearing you say, "I love you, I love you, God, I love you, whoever." The next part is I'm uh, asking God for His blessing, and I'm uh, putting pr requests like. Um, Say, for people my age, if you have a big test coming up, ask God after you praise Him and see if He'll do it. And here in James, there's a verse. In James 4, verse 7. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all he does. So when you pray, even if it does, you have to believe that's going to happen. You can't just pray and think, okay, I mean, God's probably busy. I mean, he won't do anything. Or, oh, this is something that God wouldn't care about. It's not, you know, I'm not out in Africa bringing hearts to the Lord. But God cares. He created each and every one of you, and He cares a lot, and He wants you to talk to Him. That's what prayer is. It's communication with God. And the last part of the Lord's Prayer, um, uh, where you ask Him for forgiveness for the sins that you've committed that day or in the last since the last time you committed your prayer, because God wants you to admit things. He wants you to really trust God. And how can you trust him if you're just over here like, okay, I'm just telling you all the good stuff I've done, and I'm leaving all the bad stuff behind me? I mean, no, God wants you to give him your good and your bad. He cares about you in both your good and your bad situations. And so, when you pray, you got to trust God. You have to praise God, because that's what we were put here for. And you have to love God as you're doing it. You have to just do everything you can. And God's not like, you don't have to do something like, stand up there and just be like um, a random rhyming like you see in psalms or just create massive beautiful metaphors and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that i'm just saying god understands if you can't do that and uh here also in matthew when you pray do not be like the hypocrites for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by men i tell you the truth they have received the reward in full but when you pray go into your room close the door and pray to your father who is unseen then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. You make all things work together for my good. You make all oh, things work together for my good. Paulie, why don't you come on up? You got that memorized yet? Paulie has done the benediction every month here for the last year and a half. See how he does. We'll see how he does. And now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, equip you with all you need for doing his will. May he who became the greatest shepherd of the sheep find everlasting agreement between God and you, signed with his blood. Producing you through the power of Christ, all that is pleasing to Him, to Him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for coming. Remember, coffee and snacks every Saturday at 10 at here. And just remember one thing: nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>